Joe, comfortable evening for your team. Enjoyable? Yeah, it was, it was a good workout. I, I still think we can be a lot, lot better in the final third. I've just said to the boys there, and I don't want them to take it and me to be negative about it, but we have to look at things we need to develop and improve on. The big thing about this team at the moment now is over the last couple of weeks is that we've got a really good foundation. Even, even when they could be excused for maybe switching off and going a little bit sloppy in some of their play, um, I, thought, I thought the back four, and well, the back three, then the back five, then the back four, and then when we went down to 10 because of um, Jordan, he's fine, by the way. Um, it was, it was only like two at the back or whatever we were playing. Um, I thought they defended really, really well. And that's important. You must have a base in your team first. Um, so if I'm being a little bit picky, I thought, I thought we had a lot of chances. Credit to Porter's head, actually. They, they were resolute, weren't they? And around the 18-yard box as well. A few blocks, one cleared off the line. We've hit the post several times. So, yeah, and no, it's, it's a good night's work. We've come through it, thankfully, with no injuries. And um, people have got minutes. Um, and, and again, like I said, those new players have got an opportunity to gel. I think it was only two changes from Saturday as well. So you sort of set your intentions out. And it's a good confidence booster for some of these players as well. So Tom Smith's first goal since January and Cody Cook back on the goal scoring trail as well. It's important. Yeah, that's key. Yeah, I mean, Alex off the back of his as well on the weekend. So, um, no, it's important. It's important these boys, um, they keep their confidence high. They know, they know we're not quite at it. Um, and I'm, I'll, I'll be picky with them like I said to them there in the dressing room I will demand a bit more in the final third I think we can we can trigger a little bit better and get on the ball I think I think we can keep the ball and be a bit more patient I have to say I think Elliot Freer was outstanding again tonight I mean he's he's looking in some real fine form the amount of balls God knows how many balls he's put in the box and they're real dangerous ones there's one right here where Cody should score first half where he shaped it from a good 30-40 yards out in and behind their back line real quality and what he's got is he can go past someone in a 1v1 he slows up defenders really well we just got to get our timing right. I feel like we're getting in there too early when they start to build those relationships. Elliot, you know that he's going to go in. You know he's going to slow the defender down. You know he's going to go again. Um, so we've got to get our timings right, even tracking as a midfielder coming in for the pullbacks. But yeah, some, um, some positive stuff, like I say. Um, let's, um, let's make no bones about it as well. Dulwich are going to be a really tough opposition. Hampton here on Tuesday night, this time next week, is going to be a really tough, tough, tough game. But good habits, like you say, Mark, you know, clean sheet, three goals, could have been a lot, lot more, um, but it gives us an opportunity Thursday to work on those little bits. I've been in the game Somerset Premier Cup this time of year, and we do well to scrape past crowds of 100, so 476, <laughs> which is the highest here for one since you played in the final back in 1994. And right. you've heard Port said brought a few as well, and it made for a decent atmosphere for such a game. No, well, when, you, when you look at the warm-up, and there's only a few dotted around, but then I went out and looked in the bar, there was quite a few in there. So yeah, Port have obviously brought a few in behind me there. I see a lot of their, their supporters come across. But I have to say, we've got like a new young generation that seem to be turning up, which is fantastic to see. I've got to thank them, whoever they are. I think their students are coming down from the university as well. Um, so yeah, keep coming back. They make such a difference as you said 400, 470 did you say 476 476 yeah. and a Somerset Cup game is just phenomenal so um, yeah let's hope that we keep improving as we, as we know we haven't we haven't hit the heights we want to hit um, in regard of how we've got results over the last couple of weeks but but the, the win on Saturday's done us the world of good and the, the win tonight again will do us the world of good. So, um, no, I, I, I'm looking forward to training Thursday. The boys are coming. We'll get recoveries into them. We have to do some detail around Dulwich. I've already watched their game um, from last time out against Hampton. Um, and then we'll be ready for, um, we'll be ready for Saturday.